फैक्टर we will dissect the term known as musculoskeletal assessment musculoskeletal assessment include the examination of the symmetry of joints bones and muscles and checking for swelling redness and ease of movement musculoskeletal assessment is necessary because effective musculoskeletal assessment leads to the early diagnosis and therapeutic interventions There are two major components of the musculoskeletal assessment. Number one is subjective assessment, and the second one is objective assessment. Subjective assessment includes what the patient complains about the problem. Means patient अपनी problem किस तरह बयान करता है. The subjective assessment is aimed to identify the onset, site, nature, and behavior of symptoms. On the other hand, objective assessment It basically it includes the method by which the clinician discover the clinical signs of pathology rather than symptoms here i would also like to differentiate the terms symptom and signs symptom includes what the patient complains about if the patient complains that his knee hurts it mean pain is a symptom and sign can be tested or measured by the clinician for example tenderness is a sign now coming to how will you determine the sin factor that is a part of the subjective assessment s in the sin factor stands for severity severity of the pain can be quantified by the visual analog scale by the numeric pain rating scale behavioral pain scale critical care observation tool adult non verbal scale and it can also be quantified by any valid pain questionnaire If we interpret the values of the visual analog scale, the values from one to three considered as low, from four to six considered as moderate, and from seven to ten considered as high. Now coming to the second option, that is I. I stands for irritability. In the irritability, the patient becomes susceptible to the aggravating factors that can be in the form of the physical, chemical, thermal, or mechanical. There are three grades of irritability. Number one is high grade irritability, in which the aggravating factors that causes the pain to start very quickly, and it takes longer time to settle the symptoms of pain. And the moderate grade irritability that include the aggravating factors that take longer time back to increase the symptoms of pain. and in the third grade low grade irritability the aggravating factor they become susceptible for a longer period of time but when the activity is stopped the symptoms automatically subsides for example we can take that if the patient performs jogging for 1 hour the symptom arises but they subsides after 1 to 2 minutes of rest in the same factor n stands for nature in which the clinician identify the predominant cause of symptoms that can be in the form of inflammatory traumatic mechanical or any other thermal issues